Hello there, my name is Alexander Rosso and in this episode of Taming Tutorials I'm going to be teaching you how to tame the anglerfish. The anglerfish is a very useful tame um, and I'll be sort of discussing that why it's taming. Um, so, but I'm going to quickly say about the things you're going to need. You are going to need scuba gear. I am wearing tech but that is purely so that I swim faster making the video faster. Uh, you're going to need either a harpoon gun or a crossbow, but if you do choose to use a crossbow, be aware that you run the risk of killing the tame. I believe it's a 3% chance, so it's not a huge chance, but it can happen, and it has happened to me. Um, I'm going to be using the harpoon launcher in this video, uh, so I don't run that risk. Um, its preferred food is regular kibble, but you can also use prime meat or regular fish meat. If you are going to go down the prime meat route, you may want to put a raft or mosasaur or plesiosaur uh, on the water above you, uh, which is going to have a preserving bin, spark powder, and the meat to keep it fresh. If you want to serve with the stacking mod, this shouldn't be an issue with you because you can hold a large amount of it before it all spoils. So that being said, they're going to get on with the tame. Now, when building my trap for this, one happened to actually just go inside and I thought well rather than kill him I'm actually gonna open the trap lure him out and show you how to trap him again um, this one obviously really wants to be tamed as he's decided to trap himself now I'm using a trap because um, why it's taming it keeps it safe when you're this low down there are a lot of creatures that want to kill you I'm going to list a couple off but I will miss a few because there are so many but I think you've got electric eels, you've got jellyfish, you've got megalodon, you've got mosasaurs, you've got palesiosaurs, you've got eurotopids um, all sorts of things down here that are aggressive and want to kill you and your tame um, so having the trap keeps him safe and you safe like why it's taming while you're waiting for him to tame because um, nothing can get you while you're inside it right so we're gonna hit off with the tame and we're gonna let this guy out there we go so these are an aggressive tame so they will follow you uh, you don't have you don't have to hit them or anything that the second they see you they will start chasing you like this one is right so you can outrun them quite easily uh, if you're in flippers or in tech um, so lots of people do uh, ain't go for the method of turn shoot turn shoot but I prefer the trap as I said before keeps him safe so once he's in shut the door on him stupid tech helmet there we go and now he's in there he's safe and sound he can't get out the key you want to keep these gaps quite tight the key thing is that you make sure that the last one has got a gap big enough for you to get in and out so you can do what I did um, after that you want to just shoot him now the problem with getting tight gaps is you run the risk of doing that so just go in if you're struggling to get a shot and just like, so you can pull out again if he does decide to turn around and make a, an, a beeline for you with the harpoons he should knock out uh, a lot faster in fact he's probably actually running away from me now so it means I'm safe in here with any form of water tame it is a lot more dangerous because you have got to be aware of many things obviously other creatures around you we can make sure you keep your wits about you keep your eyes open constantly sort of check to see if there's anything around um, but another thing which I know has claimed many of survivors when they've decided to go swimming and that is your stamina oh I actually don't know if I, if I hit that again after it takes I, I was too busy talking right now he's knocked out we put the kibble in like that and he will start to tame now as I said about the stamina if you're worried about your stamina uh, depleting while underwater, uh, which means that you won't be able to swim back up, bring one of these down with you. A chair underwater, if you sit in it, you will regain your stamina, as you can see on my bottom right screen. And you don't sort of need a foundation for them either. So they're nice and easy. So now why this guy is taming 
we'll have a quick look at him and we'll have a bit of a talk about him. Right, so the anglerfish is a very ugly tame. Um, advantage is you do not need a saddle to ride him. Um, although this is during the event, so he's in this unusual colour, even out of events you can find some of some quite cool colours. Um, as they're like a sort of tropical sort of style fish. That thing on the end of their thing is uh, angler gel. Um, and I do believe I had a dead anglerfish. There it is, just here. Now if you do kill an anglerfish and you harvest them, you'll actually get that angler gel. That angler gel can be used as a replacement for spark powder. I believe it actually burns slower than spark powder, so it lasts longer. But um, I would say its main use is um, put it in torches and oh, sorry, it gives a lovely blue light instead of your standard yellow light. So they're sort of quite decorative. Um, now you'll see with this guy his torpor rate is quite high so he wakes up very quickly so you're going to want to bring narcotics with you because you don't want him waking up on you while he's taming uh, I shouldn't have an issue with this one because I'm using regular kibble um, and he is relatively low level so I'm hoping <laughs> that he is going to tame without me having to craft narcotics because I'll be honest with you broke my golden rule in making sure I'm always over prepared and I forgot to bring narcotics down here. So do as I say not as I do in this regard. Always make sure you bring narcotics down with you. Um, and yeah just to say you've got to keep an eye on him. He, he is quite a slow eater um, as you can see he's taking quite a while to take that bite out of that regular kibble. But you may be asking, so why on earth do I want to get an anglerfish? I mean, are they strong? Are they fast? Etc. They are not fast. They are slow. They're not strong either. They're pretty average. So why do you want them? Well, that's because, say on your server, if you're gathering by hand some angler pearls, say for example, you get 60 uh, silica pearls. This guy's going to get around about 130, 140, uh, with every single bite that he takes. He can also hold more of them than you. Um, so they're going to really help with that electronic grind, um, especially if you're sort of at that stage now where you're getting ready to make auto turrets and you need to burn through electronics and metal. Um, this guy's going to help you with the electronics part. You can you can gather a crazy amount of silica pearls with this guy in a very little time. There are actually some silica pearls here, and I will show you um, the say the difference between me gathering and him gathering once he's tamed. Um, you'll I say you can see I used harpoons, but look at his health. He's not far off of dead. So you they are a risky tame if you're going to be go going the crossbow route. You are going to get close to killing it. So take your time with your shots because you want to take advantage like um, of the ticking element with um, narcotics. Um, for example, you're, when, you do, when you shoot a trank arrow, you're going to say give it a base um, torpor damage of 10 when the arrow hits. But then it's going to have a ticking damage afterwards for a certain amount of time. Now that ticking damage does not stack. So the next hit you do is going to sort of restart it. So if you just keep slamming arrows into it, you're not taking advantage of that ticking narcotic damage, and that's how you could end up killing the tame. So you want to sort of time your shots, uh, sort of wait a few seconds in between each what, each shot. Uh, if you're using Dodo decks, that will actually tell you um, the shot interview that you need to do, like how many seconds you need to wait. I say the safest bet is to use... Um, harpoons but I have tamed them many a times with crossbows it does work right so now we've got our anglerfish let's put him into action to show you what you can do now if I swim over here I believe this ridge lures me lures me 
takes me to an area where there are silica pearls. This clearing here, I believe. Generally, where you sort of find this sort of seaweed, you quite often find silica pearls. Okay, there's one. So I'm going to get off of him, and I'm going to grab that myself. There you go. I got 65 pearls from that. And if I get my anglerfish to bite one, I need to find one. If I swim up a bit, I stand out a bit more. Come on, I know there's more than just one finger pearls. Ah, there we go. So now if I get my anglerfish to take a bite. 148. I mean, that's a huge difference between me and the anglerfish. As I say, it will speed up your electronics gathering so much. They are a very useful tame. The reason they're not on my must-have tames list in my Ark for Dummies guide when I do a taming list is purely because I consider them a more later game tame because you need scuba gear and scuba gear you unlock at level 80 so the list I made was for like starting out and I would not say this is a starting out tame right so that's how to tame him that's what he looks like and that's what he can do so I'm gonna pot him up to add to my collection and I hope you tune into my next video where I'll be taming the Anklosaurus. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, hitting the like is really going to help me out because what that does is that helps me get my videos more noticed. And But if my videos get more noticed, that means more people I'm helping to play ARC. So I'm asking you to help me help them. As I say always... If you're finished with a trap and you have no intention of going back to it, get rid of it. It helps out with the server and I will say that every time with a trap because I really want to sort of get it through to people to stop leaving their traps lying around. It's just a pain for admins and other players as it helps. Uh, it sort of adds to the lag issue. So that's all from me from today. I uh, hope to see you soon and take care.